Hi, one of my favorite takeaways from GYC was from a sermon entitled, We Shall Overcome by Pastor Sebastian Braxton. Each day, they focus on a different part of the theme called Chosen and Faithful. And this sermon was given under the theme for Sabbath of Faithful. The verse that really stood out to me was Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, which says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so in so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. In this we see that we are to look to Jesus, not at the finish line, not at ourselves, but look to Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. He alone can finish our faith. What does it mean to be faithful? To be full of faith. Faith to believe that what he said he will do, he will be faithful to complete. Just as Philippians 1 verse 6 says, Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will be faithful to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. We cannot in and of ourselves be faithful. If we focus on trying to maintain our walk, we will fail every time. But if we keep our eyes on Jesus, he will sustain us. He will hold us up in our weakness because it is in our weakness that he is strong. It is possible to overcome because we know Revelation chapter 3 speaks of the promises to those who overcome. And John said in Revelation 15 too, And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. If we turn our eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. And finally, Jude 24 says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and forever. Amen.